Wild animals are threatened all around the world, including here in Ohio. Tonight, we're going to take a look at one native species in particular. Dave Sagan, the director of the Hawking Woods Nature Center at Hawking College, joins us now in our studio. Thanks for being here this evening. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for having me. So you've brought a friend along with you. Uh, if you want to go ahead and bring him out here, and we're going to take a look at him. And uh, while you do that, could you tell us a little bit about him? And uh, does he have a name? Uh, yeah, this is Cage. And he, come on there, boy. Must be very careful with him. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> He is a eastern timber rattlesnake, uh, one of the three venomous snakes we have in Ohio. Uh, he is a male. Uh, he is just over uh, nine pounds, and he's somewhere in the range of 12 to 14 years old. Now, how did you come into possession of this uh, particular timber rattlesnake? Uh, we have an educational permit through the uh, Ohio uh, Department of Natural Resources, and we just contacted uh, adjoining states that have these animals uh, in, in their states, and um, we work closely with their departments of natural resources, and we obtain them uh, because we don't want to remove any of Ohio rattlesnakes from the wild, uh, you know, because being an endangered species, that would be quite unproductive. Um, what is it about the timber rattlesnake that makes it endangered? Uh, they're very, very slow to mature and reproduce. Uh, they only hibernate in one particular location for their entire life. Uh, and a lot of regions in Ohio were uh, developed for agriculture. Those dens where they hibernate were destroyed and the populations then were destroyed. Uh, and females can take a year or two off uh, between breeding cycles. Um, so they're just they're, they're not a prolific breeder like uh, some other reptiles are. What, what are some steps that are being taken to uh, help preserve the snake as a species? And uh, do you think any more could be done? Well, uh, there's always more that could be done. Uh, but right now what we're doing is we're educating people because their biggest enemy is loss of habitat, which the state has addressed quite well. Uh, but a lot of people are very afraid of these animals and will basically not just rattlesnakes, but they'll kill any snake on site. And very simply, uh, there's no reason to do that. Um, this is a dangerous animal, but this animal being a rattlesnake will give you ample warning, and uh, it's pretty easy to avoid a rattlesnake. What is it about the snake that makes it so dangerous? Well, it's uh, venomous, and the venom is quite potent. Come here, pal, being camera shy here. Um, but at this, in, that, in that same idea there, uh, you've got to be pretty daft to get bit by a rattlesnake because they're going to give you an ample warning at an ample distance. And if you don't heed that warning, okay, then they become dangerous because they are very quick. And these snakes belong to a group of snakes called pit vipers. And in his face, he's got two heat pits uh, which are very, very sensitive to heat. So if somebody is messing around with them, uh, they're going to perfectly know when you're in range and they're not going to miss. Now, this is a native species of Ohio, so how likely is it for someone in Ohio to come across one of these? Well, around here, it, it, unless you're uh, up on the new bypass around Nelsonville, you're not going to see any of these guys. They're pretty common uh, down uh, in Shawnee State Forest, down in the bottom of the state. Uh, and if you see one of these guys, uh, you should just pretty much um, leave them alone. All you got to do is when they rattle at you, um, just heed that warning and walk around them. And it's, they're, they're going to give you, uh, it's, it's not going to be uh, something they're going to do last minute. So if you're walking around down in the south central Ohio and you got your earbuds in and you're jamming on your tunes, I wouldn't go for a walk in the woods down there. I wouldn't. All right, Dave Sagan and his timber rattlesnake cage, thank you so much for joining us in our studio tonight. Thanks for having us.